Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make a computer speak for you using Python programming language. So it's just like a robot, it's like a Star Wars movie, making a robot just speak for you only. So this is it, you need three things actually. You need your Python programming installed in your computer or your PC, then you need to have an ID integrated development environment. For my case, I'll be using PyCharm, but you can have it in Visual Studio Code. Then you need a standard library, which is Python Text-to-Speech x3 cognition so i'm going to show you the link here this is it so this is people installed so this is the standard library this is how you install this python package standard library text to speech for python 23 into your terminal so i'm going to show you using my pycharm this is my terminal actually i spent some time installing it so it will download the required resources then that's it and the good thing about this after installing it works both offline and online so that's it so let's get our hands dirty and show you what python is capable of okay then there you are i'm starting now I'm calling my library, then I'm assigning, assuming I'm Arnold, Arnold be like a computer or Crotran or Alexa, something like a robot. So I'm going to be talking on behalf or asking some questions on behalf. So Arnold, I'll initialize this. Yes, I'll initialize this. Yes, there you are, in it. Then bingo. Then I'll call it now. I want to speak something. So I'll put into brackets what I want to what what the text is required to talk about so i'll say like for instance okay yes. there you are then there you are just run and wait just four commands here then you're done just like that then press play let us listen Welcome to Python programming language. Wow, that's it. So you can just do like this. So it can even ask some some of the things which are which are very personal. Yeah, just like that. Yes. Don't pray. Hi. Can you lend me some cash? So it can ask money for you, you see? So you can make a computer ask money for you. Maybe sometime it can even ask you some quick, silly questions like this. Yes, again. Hi, do you drink beer? Is it yes or no? So it can give you some things. And can give you, sometimes can also help you like this. Can be romantic, I can say. Yes, like that. Can I marry you? So you see, so I see the generation after five years to come, people will be proposing using computers, robots, like, can I marry you? Is it yes or no? So it's something interesting. So this is how it goes. So you just start by developing things and just like that. And people go and using Python and Python is very easy to use and you can just move a long way. Just so this is how it starts for so machine learning, the artificial intelligence. You just go that way. You just put text and then it starts to just develop by simple code. This is just four line of code. And that's it. So one request, which is the end. Yes. Okay. Let me keep it tight. Okay. Yes, that's it. That's the last request. So to ask you. Please can subscribe my channel. Yeah, can you actually? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Please can you subscribe my channel? So that's it. So thank you. Gracias. Hope you have enjoyed. By the way, this is it. So this is the new future. This is the new normal. 10 years to come, we'll be using robots and everywhere. Just program everything. Try to put Python is a scripting language. It's also a general purpose language. So it's very good to know it. So hope you have enjoyed. Thank you a lot.